वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ द कोर्स वी विल बिगिन बाय सेटिंग द यूनिट्स टू सेंटीमीटर द रीजन बीइंग दैट एंड रियल इंजन वर्क्स इन सेंटीमीटर बाय द वे आई हैव वर्क्ड इन एमएमएस एल एंड डिडंट हैव एनी इशू इन अनरियल इंजन बट इफ यू आर मेकिंग योर फाइल फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ट्राई टू यूज सेंटीमीटर Okay now let me show you how i make walls in my scenes I'm going to make a cutout for the window now. This is just an example and I am not going to use it. So this corner over here. Let me show you how I make this in my projects. This is a metered joint and I use it to reduce my chances of getting artifacts in Unreal Engine. This is not a must but I do it just to be sure. Okay, now let me show you how to make big walls. I'm going to unhide some walls that I made earlier. You must be wondering why I made it using two objects and not a single one. Let me show you how else I could have made it. See, same thing. But still, I chose to make it using two objects, and the reason is so I don't have to use high light map resolution inside Unreal Engine. High light map resolutions affect the performance of Unreal Engine, so it's better to keep them as low as possible without sacrificing the quality. Now let's see how to keep the file organized. Let's unhide all the layers. Notice that every asset's name starts with SM here. SM stands for static mesh and is used in Unreal Engine for organizing the projects. I will tell you the remaining naming convention when we move to Unreal Engine.
excite some things and uh, see the materials. See this material of the sofa. Every material has only diffuse map inside it. The reason being that we are going to create the materials inside Unreal Engine. So there is no need to add other maps in the Max file. Now Datasmith does about Vray and Corona materials among others. And when we take those materials inside Unreal Engine 4, they aren't optimized at all. And this affects the performance inside Unreal Engine. That's why we are going to create the materials inside Unreal Engine. Now let's see how we can reduce the poly count of the assets. See, the simple shape alone has around 10,000 poly count, which is just too much. And the seat has more than 60k. We are going to use Pro Optimizer modifier to reduce the poly count. Check this option here and click on Calculate. Now let's reduce the poly count to 15%. See this artifact over here. Let's try 20% maybe. Looks better. Wait, I see some artifacts. Let's try 25. Still an artifact, but as it is at the bottom side, I'm okay with it. See, the poly count has reduced by more than half. The models that you see here are downloaded, but the best approach is to model them yourself. That way you can keep the poly count low. I'm not a great 3D modeler, so I don't model my furniture. Okay, now let's see how to unwrap the models. Go to scriptspot.com and search for Steamroller. It's a free plugin to unwrap quickly in Max and it works good for the most part. And then we have a paid plugin called Umbrella. It's a awesome plugin that can unwrap organic models easily and efficiently. They also provide a 30 day trial version that you can try and buy if you like it. It's available for Max and Maya. For our walls here, we are going to use Steamroller. Select the wall 
and click on the steamroller icon. Set UV channel to 2. The second channel is going to be used for baking the light maps inside of Unreal Engine. Keep the angle at 45 and spacing to 0 0.02. Don't touch any other option. Now click Unwrap Now. We have a modifier by the name Steamroller underscore CH2 added now. Check the map channel. It's set to 2 for light maps. Open the UV editor. See this unused space? We are going to utilize it. Go to Mapping and select Flatten Mapping and keep the angle at 45. Change the spacing to 0 0.02 and don't touch any other option. Click on OK. See, the UV space is utilized in a much better way now. Let's unwrap another wall now. We can also scale some small faces to better utilize the UV layout. I have already unwrapped every wall in this scene to save my time. The only thing that I didn't unwrap is the furniture. Because most of the models online are already unwrapped by the creators and I save some time here as well. And if I encounter some problem in Unreal Engine, I come back to 3ds Max and fix it and then re-import it to Unreal Engine. I am going to finish this class here and we will learn about data smith in the next class. It's a free plugin to export max files to Unreal Engine. Okay, see you later.